Hello, welcome. My name is Anshambot. I'm a dedicated Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling streamer, and today I'm going to show you my favorite meme deck for this season. So, as you can see already, the deck behind me it's a hybrid Invoke Neos deck. I call it Neo Surprise deck. But the real surprise in this deck here is this little guy, Rasta Supple. So, this guy already made a lot of people rage quit, scoop, <laughs> and just surrender. Um, because they just had no out to this card until lately. So what you do basically within this Neos Invoked Hybrid deck is you put the Rasta Slipple into your own graveyard with the uh, Neos and then you use the give and take to give it to your opponent during his turn. Yep. And in that case, when the Rasta Slipple is on side of your opponent, they are not allowed to special summon any other monsters anymore. They can only normal summon, but most people don't do normal summons anymore in the meta right now. So their whole deck will be completely f***ed with the Rasta Slipple like that. So when this card is summoned, you can special summon up to two Rasta Slipple from your hand or deck. They do not have it because they don't play Ra or God cards. Cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of Slifer, the Sky Dragon of Bliss, the Tremendo, or the Winged Dragon of Ra. Nobody plays that on the ladder. And you cannot special summon monsters except by the effect of Ra's Disciple. So basically, whole deck is f***ed thanks to this game. So the rest of the deck is pretty common. So you have the Neos and the Neos Fusion. So you can put either the Keeper, the Alistair, or the Ra, or a Shell into Graveyard plus the Neos to special summon a Brave Brave in the Mental Hero Neos, and if you want to summon him a second time, you have the second copy of the Neos Fusion, and you can draw out the Neos out of the graveyard with the Keeper's effect. Because the Keeper can, when it's summoned already on the field, activate its effect and special summon one Neos from graveyard, which will be this guy here, and then you can use it a second time to summon a second Neos. This is how actually it works. So you don't need to run two copies of that card because it just will make you brick. If you ha only have one card, uh, one one copy of this card, everything just going to be fine. Then you have so Keeper Neos Neos Fusion is just like this one part of the hybrid. And the other part of the hybrid is actually the Alistair the Invoker, plus the Invocation, and the Volcano Shell, which actually will give you a Purgatria. So you don't have water in here, so you will not have a Cositis unless your opponent has a water monster in their graveyard. And the same goes for the Kaliga, if you're... Uh, actually, you can go Kaliga, I think, when you have a Dark Monster, yeah, so which is basically the Alistair. So for this one, you re rely on the water monster of your opponent, and this one can be summoned with the Alistair if you want to. But mainly the deck consists of Neos, Brave Hero, and Purgatrio. Purgatrio will be summoned when you have an Alistair on the hand, which will special help you pick one invocation from your, uh, from your deck. And then in that case, you should have either a Volcanic Shell on the field, in your hand, or in the graveyard. Then you can go into Purgatrio. The main idea of this deck is basically thin out your deck, give your opponent the Ra, make him rage quit. And if he does not rage quit, you just summon the Purgatrio and pierce the Ra and basically pi do piercing damage to until he's dead. Basically, that's what it is. Um, you can also do the same with the Volcanic Shell. You, because the Volcanic Shell has zero defense, you can just use the give and take and give the Volcanic Shell to your opponent, use your Purgatrio to pierce through it, and it's also game. This is a meme stall deck, I would say. So basically your idea is trying to survive and stall him out until you get... You can either give him the rat to make, sh make him quit, or you can um, yeah, you can summon the Pukachu and pierce his monsters until he's dead. That's why you have like three trap holes and three copies of a give and take. It is not the usual format with uh, 20 cards, because this deck doesn't run with 20 cards. I've seen versions of it with 24 and 25, I have already compromised it into the very, very short version of 23 cards. This, this one runs perfectly. Some people add a bacon for safety for the Neos or even a fox to steal some OTKs. That's also possible. Um, what you should never forget in this deck is also the Cosmic Cyclone, which will help you remove the back row of your opponent and give you the chance actually to go in with a Pugaccio for the piercing damage, otherwise this guy is mostly just going to be put into face down with a trap hole or, I don't know, effect of Canadia whatsoever, Econ, wo I don't know, Ballista. There are so many different ways to stop um, an, an, an Pugaccio with back row, that's why you need actually the Cosmic Cyclone. 
And when you pay 1,000 life points to remove a spell or trap card, you can use the switch root effect, which is basically you take one card from your hand and put it back into your deck, shuffle it and get one card back. And usually it should be a different card, but I had already made the experience many times that you just get, get the same card back which you actually shuffled. I don't know how this happens, but it happens from time to time. And um, never forget about the volcanic shell. This guy here is actually, I would say, beside the Rasta Suppose, a special spice in this meme deck. Because when you have a volcanic shell in the graveyard, you can pay 500 life points and get another volcanic shell out of your deck. So you are going to thin out your deck and you are playing, paying life points so you can get to the threshold for 1000 to use your switcheroo. So basically this makes it this makes the deck, even though it is 23 cards, very much consistent and will help you mill out until you get the cards you need, like the Ra and the Give It Take, or like the Alistair and the Volcanic Shell for Bugatrio. So there are many different win conditions in this deck and crit conditions for your opponent, and that's what actually makes this deck so much fun. Um, I have played it a lot on the ladder, and I actually intended to make Mate King of Games with this, but people didn't let me, so that's why I went in the end with Dark Magician. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put, put it below into the comment section. Follow the channel, visit us on Twitch or visit me on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time. I jump off.